Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have quite a fun video for you guys. It's kind of like a festive video for this upcoming holiday for Halloween, which you guys can see my little jack-o'-lantern back there that I have trying to make this video a little bit festive and decorative. But I am doing this fun Halloween tag video. Now I wasn't tagged or anything, but I did find these questions online. And I just thought it'd be a really cool way for you guys to enjoy this upcoming season if you do celebrate Halloween and also to get to know a little bit more about me on a more creative level I guess but before we jump into this video if you guys aren't already subscribed please hit that big red subscribe button down below it will help me out so so much also so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video please hit that bell button down below so you can get notified once I post a new video and also if you do enjoy any of my videos and enjoyed this one by the end of it, please give it a big thumbs up. So we're just gonna jump right into the questions for this little spooky video for you guys. So the first question is favorite horror or Halloween theme song? And I feel like this is like one of the most well-known songs that everyone would probably choose, but it would have to be Monster Mash. I don't know, it reminds me of Freaks and Geeks, the Halloween episode, because they were singing that song or the mom was singing it. While they were eating dinner and I just love that show so much that the song just really sticks out to me so I would have to say Munster Mash is definitely like a key Halloween song for me especially since when I was like in fifth grade and we had Halloween parties in school like that song would always play always on Halloween of course because I wouldn't really listen to it on the regular but I would just say Munster Mash. The next question is name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. I would have to say either something like the nun or like anything like insidious type. Just like any human being, not even like a ghost. Like I don't care about ghosts, but like a human being that or like a demon that looks like a human, like I'm just terrified. Like don't kill me. Like I know you could kill me, but like a ghost I feel like can't really kill me, so I wouldn't really be that scared. But definitely like anything that's human, but like scary looking, I guess. The next question is, have you ever played with a Ouija board? And I'm gonna say no, and I don't ever plan to because I've heard too much stuff, especially this thread that was on Twitter the other day that this kid and his like cousin or his brother played a Ouija board that his aunt contacted them. I don't know if you guys have seen it. You probably know what I'm talking about, but I will never touch one of them and I will never step near it because I'm not trying to let any demons into my life right now. Definitely not. Favorite horror monster or villain? Hmm. I'll say for villain, it would probably have to be the Joker. And then for favorite monster, I don't really know. That's kind of a hard one. But I'm just going to say, I don't know. I'm just thinking about the movie Monster House. I guess the monster could be a villain. I mean, the house could be a villain or a monster. I don't know. But monster house the house itself i guess i don't know that's such a lame answer the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you while you were alone okay one time i was in at my job and i filed charts and i always separate them by letter or in the beginning at least i used to and one time i separated them in one room all in alphabetical order by letters i had a's pile b's c's so on I went to another room and I brought a pile over there that I can file next. When I went back to the other room, like, I know I wasn't losing my mind, but they were all in, like, not alphabetical order. Like, they were all just mixed up. Like, they were still in stacks, but they weren't in, like, alphabetical order. And I thought, like, for a second, I was like, I was like, did I really not put these in order? Or am I just bugging? Or does somebody just come in, like, you know? mess all of these up. I don't know. I was just kind of freaking out until this day. I'm still trying to figure out like, was that real or was it not? Like, I don't know. But I would say that's probably the creepiest thing. I don't really have like super creepy things that happen to me, sadly. I mean, not really sadly, but it'd be cool to experience it. But I would say that was probably the most creepiest for me. Not really that interesting. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Yes, but I would have to have at least one person with me. Just one person. It would be really cool because it's like, I would hope it's like The Shining and stuff, like that kind of creepy because I do love The Shining, but I don't know. I would need that at least like one person with me, but I wouldn't mind doing it. I know I'd be freaked, but I feel like I've been in scarier situations than that, so I wouldn't really mind it at all. So I'll say yes, as long as I could bring a friend or a family member with me. 
Are you superstitious? I'm gonna say yes. A lot of things I do kind of believe in, like superstitions and like bad luck and good luck things, kind of, but not super crazy. Like I'll believe in it and I'll be like, okay, whatever, I tried it, it didn't work. But yes, I do believe in superstitions. Um, not really like black cat things. Like I see a black cat and one always used to cross in front of me when I would take the bus to work, but it wasn't really that serious. I don't know. I mean, I do believe in them, but it's whatever. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? I don't know why this question just freaked me out just now because I don't want to like see anything right now popping up if I say no. Um, I always think I do, but I work in an eye doctor and I think that's just like my actual like vision problem. I forgot what it's called. Wow. I probably don't really do good at my job as you guys can probably tell. But I feel like I always see something in the corner of my eye, but not really like a figure of a person, just like something like an orb or like a light, but it's probably just like my eyesight. I don't know. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? I think more thriller, but I end up enjoying more gore movies for some reason, but I do go for more thriller stuff. Not really like slasher things, but more of like, like I said, The Shining, like that kind of thriller and stuff where it's not really like bloody and gory. I mean, it did get there, spoiler alert, but I don't know. I'm not really a gory person, but I can handle it. I'm fine with it. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Uh, I think so. Like ghosts and like spirits, I believe in that. It kind of goes like on a religious sense too. But then again, I don't know. Not really like demonic stuff, but I do believe like if someone passes on, like I feel like their spirit is still around, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Ever made a potion of any sort? No. No. I mean, I made a smoothie, but never like a potion. Like, it tasted like a potion because it wasn't really that good, but you know, it's okay. Do you get scared easily? Not really. Yeah, I really don't. I don't think I do. Because I can watch horror movies. If someone like scares me, like I'm fine. Like I don't really scream. I just kind of get like in a shock phase, but I don't think I can get scared easily. Like. It's kind of hard for me, I realize. Like, I don't think anyone really tried to scare me as much, but never recalled any situation where I did get scared really easily. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? No, and I don't plan to. And I'm not even gonna say her name two more times because I don't want her to pop up out of nowhere. But I don't ever plan to play it because I can't. I can't, it's too much for me. Do you believe in demons slash the devil? Not necessarily demons, but the devil, I do believe in. Like again, like the sense of like religious stuff. I believe there's a good and a bad. And I believe there's someone always trying to like add bad stuff to your life that I want to get away from. So I believe the devil in that sense, but not like believing and worshiping in it. If that makes sense. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about stuff making sense and it's not even making sense to me. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? I don't know, sometimes when I am home alone, I think I'm home alone, I'm actually not, like my roommates are home, so I wouldn't really be that scared. I just, you know, if it gets kind of suspicious, I'll just lock my door, but my window has like a grill in front of it, so I can't really get out. So that might be kind of a problem, but I don't know, I'll, f I'll figure it out, and if I die, I die. It was meant to be. If you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? The Shining. If you guys didn't know, my favorite movie, thriller movie, scary movie is The Shining. A lot of people think it's really stupid, but I don't know. I just wish I was in that hotel. I think it would be really, really cool. Like, it just looks like dope. And I just love the like 70s, 80s vibe of it. So definitely The Shining. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? I don't know. That's really, really hard. Because I even have a hard time picking out a costume. But I would probably say... I don't know. That's a hard one. I can't decide. I'm sorry. I'm boring, but I can't. It's too many choices. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, but once again, with at least one person. But I don't really think it's that scary, honestly. I think I could walk in it by myself for like, if you give me a hundred bucks, I could probably do it. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Definitely... I say like a sword, like Michonne in The Walking Dead, because I feel like if they get close enough, I can just slice if it's like really sharp enough. Because like the gun, I feel like if I don't have a good gun that I have to like keep reloading, 
I feel like I'll like freak out and like they'll get too close and I can't really shoot them. Um, so definitely like a knife or something. So I could just slice, slice, slice everyone that comes, slice like four people at a time. Or zombies, I guess. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Um, definitely a Halloween party, which is one that I'm having this weekend. Um, since I'm older, but I never actually got to go trick-or-treating when I was younger because of religious things, but not really. Just my parents thought it was too scary to do and it was evil. So I never got to experience it, but I feel like I don't really care to do it as I got older, but it would be cool to do it as you get older because it kind of sounds like fun because I feel like kids don't go trick-or-treating anymore for some reason, but I guess I'll stick with the party. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer. I think I am... Hmm. I think I'm the smart one. No, not really. I mean, maybe. I feel like I'm like the last... Not the last one standing, but like, I'll do good killing people and like, getting away. Like, I think I'll be good with that. But I'm definitely not the first one to die. Like, I know how to fight. Like, not fight, but like, I can like seriously like kill someone like well, I don't know why I'm doing the stabbing thing looks weird do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep no I usually have to watch something happy after watching a really depressing movie like a star is born like I got really depressed for like three days straight after seeing it two times but yeah after watching a horror movie no not really I saw Halloween it wasn't really scary to me but when I got home I thought he was like with me but I wasn't really that scared but insidious I didn't have to watch anything happy I just dealt with it and you know Whatever happens, happens. If I get possessed by a demon, then that's my fault. I don't know. Whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters? The person with their eyes covered the whole time? Or the person who falls asleep? Probably the person who falls asleep. Because usually I always watch scary movies with my cousins, like late at night sometimes when we all hang out. And I'm just so tired that I can't stay up. But I want to watch the movie. Like, I'll never close my eyes really. And I'll never scream at the TV. But I'll just lay there. And eventually fall asleep. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? Probably the one who does the scaring. Yeah, because I don't really get scared. Like, I'm easily able to scare people. Like, whenever I had to go, like, in my basement back in the day, I feel like my sister would always let me go first. Like, she would always want me to go first, and I would do it. Or even, like, going in the attic. Like, scary things that, like, my family finds scary, like my mom and my sister, they always push me to go do it and I do it and I'm fine with it. So I guess that's why I'm kind of easy on not getting scared anymore. Favorite scary book? I don't know. I don't really read. Well, I'm reading The Shining, but I guess you guys kind of figured that already. <laughs> How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? I really don't know. I don't know what my first scary movie was. I honestly, <laughs> yeah, I really can't remember what my first scary movie was. Um, it would probably be something on like... ABC Family or Freeform when I was younger, but I can't remember what it would have been. Oh, maybe The Little Vampire. I think I saw that when I was really, really young. Um, but I don't know if that was scary for like adults, but scary as a little kid. I think it was a little vampire. I think so. I think that's the first one that I remember was like a Halloween scary movie for me or like Halloween Town and stuff, but those kind of feel like family scary, but Little Vampire was kind of like vampires. They're really scaring you. What was your first Halloween costume? It was like tights, like striped tights, a skirt, trying to make a witch hat, and I wore it out the first time I went trick-or-treating with my brother when I used to live in Delaware, and I think I was trying to be a witch, but it wasn't really working, but I still got candy out of it, so I think I did good. What are we going to be for Halloween this year? I'm actually not gonna say it because I'm gonna be uploading this before I post anything for my Halloween costume and also my family watches my videos so I don't want them to know because it is a surprise and we do win presents or prizes um, for who has the best costumes like we all vote on it so I don't want to say anything yet because I will be uploading this before but you guys will definitely see it if you follow me on my Instagram you'll see what I posted and also if you guys are catching up with my vlogtober you'll be able to see the entire party and my outfit slash costume that I'll be wearing but it's really really simple because it was like a really last minute but I think it'll work and it's kind of a popular costume I realize a lot of girls actually wear it all the time for like Halloween but I just decided to do it go on the bandwagon and just go ahead with it if you could have a spooky Halloween pet black cat owl bat rat or wolf what would you pick probably a wolf 
because that's just cool to have a wolf. But for a more realistic thing, definitely not a rat because that's disgusting. But I would say a black cat. I actually do want a black cat because one of my favorite animals is a black panther. So I feel like it would kind of relate, like a miniature panther, but it's not really real. So I'll say a black cat is the closest thing to like a dog and I'm good with dogs. So that were all the Halloween questions. I hope it was a little bit interesting. Um, they were kind of interesting, but my answers were kind of dumb. I don't know if that showed you guys a side of me that's kind of boring or not. But like I said, if you guys do want to see what Halloween costume I am wearing, I will be filming it in my Vlogtober videos. So check that out on my channel if you aren't already caught up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!